afropora.com Welcome to Afropora, bringing you the latest in African entertainment. And we have here in the studios today the beautiful and talented actress, Ms. Okawa Shazne. Hi, Ms. Okawa. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Well, thank you for visiting us today. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You too. Thank you very much. And I was just, you know, uh, be... I know you're an actress and you've mm -hmm. acted in a couple of movies. What movies have you acted in? I've acted in about four movies. I did two in Cameroon, okay. Master DJ and The Eighth Commandment. And then the other ones I did this year, Caged and The Governor's Gift. Well, before we get into all the good stuff, um, okay. well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, basically, I'm just a girl who grew up um, in Cameroon and um, I schooled there basically almost all my life. And then I came here in 2005 after mm -hmm. high school to pursue my college degree so and what are you studying um, I just graduated with my accounting degree actually mm -hmm. so but actually after that I'm doing um, modeling and acting at the same time too so so when did you start coming up with I want to be an actress and I want to act in the movies um, ever since I was a little girl actually but mo mostly precisely in my teenage years back in Cameroon we used to watch a whole bunch of movies, Nigerian movies, and Bollywood movies, and of course I identified more with Nollywood because, I mean, they reflect, they're all Africans like we are, so mm -hmm. I just loved it, and I would, like, love to do that, so. What is your favorite classic Nollywood film? Oh my goodness. The, the, the just the classic, the, your favorite classic. Oh, you're living in bondage. Living in bondage, <laughs> yeah. and why? Well... It was just pretty amazing to me with all the cult stuff, and it was pretty scary too. So I mean, that it will make it really, really classic. For me, I love living in bondage, but I also love Glamour Girls. Oh yeah. Because like, Glamour Girls, it was basically like to me, it's like a foreshadowing of the recent Nollywood films sure. where you have the young ladies trying to get these Everything. men, and Good. you know, just living the fast lane. So for me, that was. Glamour Girls, and then Living in Bondage is just, of course, we all know. Awesome, awesome A classic. Movie. But which one expi like, inspired you, and you saw it, and you're like, you know what? I want to be an actress. Okay. Most of the movies that Genevieve Nadu did, like, oh my goodness, amazing actress. Everyone loves so Genevieve. Everybody loves her. Like, <laughs> oh my God, I just want to do that, and I want to be like her. So I was like, I'll go ahead and pursue myself and just be pushful. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. And your first movie, how did you get into that? Actually... Because it's not easy getting it's into really, the it's really, connection of movies. It's, it's really not easy. But basically, the very first one, I heard it over the radio. They were um, putting out auditions back in Cameroon. So I attended one. And then they're like, they're looking for the criteria, dark girl, so and so. So I tried it out. So I got the lip rolls. So it was fun. Now, you know, there's this rumor, like, this idea uh -huh. out there that for you to get into the movie industry, there's a lot of, let's say bribing you know having to did you face a lot of those kind of like harassment sexually from like people or of course they made advances or anything like that from the producers or directors I mean I'm not saying it happens okay. but I'm that's you know yeah well you know the industry mostly is like that too but I have fortunately I've never like experienced anything like that yeah so. I've experienced anything yeah. I've never experienced so what would you say to other people out there who find themselves in such situations well the most important thing is you have to focus on your talent first. And definitely it will come to you. So you don't have to succumb to all of those, you know, threats and things that you don't have to do to be placed in the movie. You just, if it's, if it's a movie you're supposed to be in it, somehow you're going to get to do it. So you don't have to do all of that. Do all that other yeah. stuff. So um, how many, like, what's your favorite movie that you've actually done? My favorite movie I've actually done mm -hmm. is The Governor's Gift. The latest one I just did. Um, That's the one with your mic? Yeah, Jim I, Tony yeah. DK, and Pascal. J.J. Bunny Productions. Yes, J.J. Yes. Bunny. It was really fun to me because it was kind of, it was challenging because of the role that I had to put, I had to play. So, it was great. I and what was that it. role? Um, I played this girl <laughs> who, um, Amaka, mm -hmm. and I went over to see my boyfriend and we just, I discovered that, you know, I discovered a letter saying that he was HIV positive and, you know, he's trying to like give it to me or... You know, and stuff like that. So, I just, like, so you go in this evil room. Yeah, I just transformed, and I'm like, oh, I'm just... well, how did you do that? I mean, you seem like a very sweet person. <laughs> so for you to become evil, I know. How, how do you get into that? You mode? have to, you know, before you do a movie and stuff, mm -hmm. you have to like 
read into the character and try to understand the situation and try to put yourself in that situation. So mm -hmm. I'm like asking myself, what if I have this boyfriend and then we've been together and then I realize that he's HIV positive and it like looked like he knew about it. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Would you kill him? Because in the movie, I think you did. Did you? I, I, oh, you can't release that information. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> you, oh, okay. I, I, but it was, it was, you see. Oh, okay. Okay. But so you leave that to, you know, but I, I just gave you guys a little bit of hint, hint on mm -hmm. what happens. So basically, <laughs> uh, you study the character before exactly. you, you actually yeah, You have to, like, do it. go into it. You know, you, when I want, for instance, for me, when mm -hmm. I have to do any scene, I go back home. I sit down and then I try to like re reflect on certain things. It's like some kind of me time to myself. Okay. And trying to be professional and try to like push my emotions through, you know, so I can get the. Which point one across. is easier for you, the good girl role or the bad girl role? Obviously. I like the bad girls. I, I don't know about anybody, but what do you, what, what are you into? I'm into challenge roles, so obviously I like bad girl parts, but I like good girl parts so good, but you have to be challenging enough, you know. I love challenging. You know what's funny? The the kind of like the mentally challenged, not mentally challenged, but like the crazy people on the, on the streets. You uh -huh. see, I love it when everyone plays that role. Do you think you can do a role like that? I can. You really I would think love so? to do it. Yes, I would love to do really? that. Really? Yeah, I can. I, I can do it. So, what was it like working with the stars? Did you get a little bit nervous? Cause you know, um, yeah. actually, I was I wasn't nervous, but I was like wondering how would they behave, you know, and all okay. that kind of stuff and all that. But like um, Desmond, Ailey, he was pretty sweet and everything. He interacted with everybody and all that. It was great. It's so, what that. is your biggest accomplishment? My very big accomplishment was um, I was a cover girl for um, Bushfellas magazine. It's a Cameroonian magazine which is based in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So right now, some of it is in Maryland, and some people have been called me from Cameroon, and it's really giving me some wide exposure. So. Oh, okay, yeah. from Cameroon. Yeah. So now let's get to the juicy stuff. Okay. So, for the fellas. Do you have someone in a relationship? Are you looking for a relationship right now? Are you already in a relationship or <laughs> looking? Because I'm sure all the tension is going to start coming at you, or if it's not already. Mm. So, you know, what exactly, <laughs> what, what's the status on that? Right now, I'm just single. I'm not seeing anyone right now. Are you interested in me? You know, I, I got <laughs> Well, I'm just going with the flow. I'm not looking. I'm, I'm just, you know, just doing my thing hey somebody comes along that i like and we you know fall in love then something something might happen okay so do you want to marriage is in the future anytime soon or you just want to focus on your career because it's i mean yeah obvious. i would love to get married too but you know like i said you know it just depends on what happens you know you just go with the flow you just go with the flow. Yeah. Okay. You never know what happens. So do you have anything else you want to say, you know, so that we can never forget you? <laughs> okay. Basically, to anybody out there who is interested in getting into the industry, all I want to say is, like, you just have to be strong, be confident, be ambitious, follow your dreams, and the sky is the limit. I just trust in God. Everything is just going to work out perfectly. Thank you so much for coming, and we appreciate you. Please do not forget this face, oh. upcoming actress, and we are so excited, and we wish oh, you the absolute you so best. Much. Thank you for tuning in to Afropora. This is Emma, and we'll see you next time. Afropora, where everything happens.